All right, boom. This is the left mouse button. Oh, I gotta click that. This is my... Oh, I opened the desk with E! Ha! I forgot the first part of the story. He talked quick, man. Maverick fam, what is going on? Your boy Dion here. We're gonna try out this game called The Escapist. Two. Now I was very, very hesitant to ever give this a shot for a couple reasons. It's just, I don't know, it's like a 2D pixel game, you know what I mean? It didn't seem that dope, but enough of y'all were suggesting it. Like I see it randomly in comments and I saw it the first time. I think someone wrote me on Twitter. I was like, okay, cool. I always check out new games when y'all ask. I may not get a chance to respond, but if I see it, I'll check it out. And I was like, no, this can't be the game, right? And I know there's other big YouTubers that somehow play these games and people watch them. And I was like, what? I really can't see people liking that. So I ain't paying no mind. Then it popped up again and again. And I keep seeing it. I'm like, what the fluff is the hype? So I'm going to be real. I don't see how a game that looks like this could be dope. But I've got enough requests to check it out. And I might be surprised. This might, I might need to stimulate my mind, Craig. This might open me to a whole new world of gaming that I didn't really think was possible. But we're going to check it out, man. This makes me think of like, this makes me think of like Pokemon. You know what I mean, which Pokemon on the Game Boy was dope. I'm just not playing Pokemon and it's, I don't got a Game Boy. So I just don't see this being too crazy, but we're gonna see what's up. So y'all can say, y'all can't say I didn't give it a shot. Now, from what I understand of this game, for those that may be new and have never seen this before, you're, you're breaking out of prison. I think, and there should be a way to use, oh, there's versus. I thought there was co-op too, but you know, oh, why they give me the black character by default? Don't tell me the, the character by default is black. This might be the only game where you got more selections for black people than white people as your character. Or is their shading just bad? These all look black and, and Mexican to me, man. Don't, y'all can't, y'all can't play me escapist too. I'm just saying, why y'all got a Negro on top of the leaderboards though? Why is the Negro on top of the leaderboards, huh? I see the leaderboard. Why the blackie there? Why the blackie so why we got first and second though? Alright man, we're gonna check it out though. We're gonna check it out. If I like this, if I enjoy this enough, I'll definitely do a second one. I'll probably record it right now. It's like the first two or three episodes will be just me solo. And if I'm liking it enough and you guys are supporting it enough and I can do verses or co-op, you know, I'll bring Trent in on it or, you know, the squad or whatever, whatever, whatever is the deal, all right? So let's see what's up. Welcome, Prisoner. The Escapist 2 is a sandbox game where your goal is to escape from prison. There are many different things you can do in the game and many different ways to escape each prison. How you escape is up to you. The Escapist 2 has a brand new control scheme. Okay. Precinct 17 is a good place to learn the controls and the basics of the game. Is that like the basic one i mean i'm ready to go to the hardest one but we can start there this is a single player only tutorial prison this optional holding center for the wrongdoers is the perfect location to learn or indeed refresh yourself with the basics you'll need when fully incarcerated wow this is kind of cool man i mean i'm just the idea that i'm slightly impressed but we'll see your journal keeps track of all your okay keeps track of something so I bet you want to hear about how, how I, the incredible Robinson, escaped, huh? Yeah, if you want. Just put yourself in my shoes for a minute and I'll talk you through it. So this is how I, so this is how it played out. Also, he on a beach chilling, telling his friend. So it's lights out. So I got up one morning and I thought to myself, enough is enough, I want it out. It was time to leave this place. I got out of bed and I ran. I opened the desk with E and grabbed everything from inside using the left mouse button. And I knew I would need these things to later bust loose from this joint. All right, boom. This is the left mouse button. Oh, I gotta click that. This is my... Oh, I opened the desk with E! Ha! I forgot the first part of the story. He talked quick, man. And I grabbed the socks and I grabbed the soap. Don't drop it, buddy. I crafted a weapon by pressing C to check this item, to check the items needed to craft such a thing. I highlighted and crafted the two items together using the left mouse button. So I grabbed the sock and the soap and crafted a sock mace. Ooh. Ooh. When you're when you're executing an elaborate escape plan, 
The key to success is to not draw attention to yourself. I use the yellow arrow, which would guide me to the next routine, roll call. Roll call, what up? At roll call, trying my best to keep calm, I wondered, did they know I was up to something? The, oh, fluff, dang it, I can't read this with emotion. I'm looking at you, fam, I'm looking at you. All right. Sale shakedown victims are as follows. Robinson and Chuck. Ah, oh, crap, they called me out. I never miss a beat, what? Casting fear aside as I had done with modern values my whole life, an inmate called Chuck was of interest to me. I had a hunch the green arrow by the stairs was trying to tell me something. Okay. Oh, in here. Wait. Oh, the green arrow points me towards things. With nobody looking, I equipped the salt mace using Tab. Fueled with desire to get out of this place, I attacked with an attempt to knock them out. Ah! Chuck laid down. With Chuck unconscious, I looted the key from him using E to access the pockets and took it using Yes. I then swiftly made for the evidence room opposite using my key. Boom. Chuck, I'm gone. See you, dog. I'm gone. Opening the desk with E, I stole the tools within the highlight and highlighted them and took them with yes. Thing, things were going my way. Was it too good to be true? I felt like luck was on my side. All right, I don't know which ones I got to read fast and which one I can do with my what I want. Oh, a pickaxe. Ooh. All right. I think his I can read with emotion. Just give me a moment while I top up my suntan lotion. I'm burning here. Anyway. I knew the exact place to use my tools. Once more, I used the green arrow to guide me. All right. All right, this is this is kind of cool. Not a lot, just kind of so far. Just give me a, all right. I hide my actions. I picked up the bed sheet by holding E. When standing next to it, I equipped it using tab, then hung it on the cell bars next to the cell door by pressing space. Oh, wait, wait, no, no, no. I had my, I picked up the bed sheet by holding E. Okay, when standing next to, oh. Oh. Are you familiar with the phrase, out of sight, out of mind? Well, on that note, with the pickaxe equipped, I chipped away at the cell wall using space. I gotta equip it. Uh. With energy levels low, luckily it was meal time. Using the green arrow to hide me, or to guide me, I headed to the food hall, grabbed a tray of high quality slop using E, and set in my seat using E. Okay, so I probably should put this away, right? Okay. Where's energy levels? Oh, that's the bottom left, back. Okay. Um. Whoa, whoa, wait. Where, do I, do y'all see the green arrow to guide me? I don't know where the food hall is. Is this it? Give me this slot. I headed to the food hall, grabbed a tray, yeah. I grabbed a tray of high quality slot using E. Oh, I had to move over there. And then I sit down, all right. Petrified, I managed to eat, which restored my energy levels. And I kept down the food provided. Fluff! Energy levels replenished and freedom's my goal. I managed to keep down the, f oh, pop back up. <laughs> Took a deep breath and continued to follow the green arrow, which was most helpful. Green arrow, you my ninja. Y'all saw it disappear for a second, right? And came back, I thought it was something else, so I was in hurry mode. Disgusting aftertaste and bad indigestion aside, it was time to get back to work and continue my chipping through the cell wall with my pickaxe equipped. I resumed my plan by pressing space. Okay. 
equip it. Alright. Ah. Come on, keep at it. Bam. Oh, pass me the suntan lotion, would you please, chum? Things were looking good. With the wall now chipped away, I moved through to the next room. Away from prying eyes, I opened the desk with E and grabbed everything from inside by, yep, it's my time. Item is time. Added them to my inventory, yep. All right, we're getting the hang of this. So, adrenaline shot. And some cutters. Holding E, I picked up the desk and placed it down beneath the vent on the marked spot by pressing E. Once I'd highlighted my adrenaline shot and consumed it with space, I pushed against the desk, climbed onto it, equipped my cutters and pressed space to cut the vent cover above me. Oh, so that shows that it's up there, okay. Consume that, that gives me energy. And then I gotta equip all right, um, yup, and then cut. It's 50%. More suntan lotion, please. This heat is brutal. So next, I climbed into the vent from upon the desk using E and made my way to the right. This is bliss, golden beaches. Laughing waves. Anyway, having made my way right, I equipped my cutters and cut through the closed vent using space to allow me to drop down below. Okay. Alright, drop down. What the fluff? Then bang, the lights were all flashing. One of the screws must have must have noticed me missing. Panic set in, but as my contact had promised, there was a shovel waiting for me that I picked up using E. Boom. Sweating fear, furiously, looking like I just had a fight with the fire engine. I equipped my shovel with tab, and I frantically began, began to dig using space just in front of the door. Oh, geez. All right. Is this the, wait, is this the shovel? Yes, it's shovel. Dig, dig. I'm nervous, I'm nervous. I'm out. Making the most of my shovel, I continue to dig ahead using space in a rushed out precise manner. Oh, geez. I cleared two underground spaces ahead, dug into the second open space in front of me using space, which allowed me to come up through the other side into the car park, if my calculations were correct. Uh. Across the car park, I saw what looked like something useful. As the sun burned into my retinas, fresh from the darkness, I staggered across the car park and picked up the sun-kissed, glistened item. Which item is this? Perfect, I got my hands on the cutters. I moved to the fence equipped with cutters and set about jumping the last hurdle by pressing space. Equip them. Let's get it. We out of here. We out of here, baby. I was out. Okay. 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 I doubt they'll ever catch me now. Huh. Huh. Oh, snap. Dang, they rolled up on my ninja at the beach. Oh. Ow!
Oh man, that okay, okay, look. Okay, look. Alright, alright, they got a ninja interested. I'm 100 percent interested because of how deep it is. The fact that you can do so many different things, like just yo, how does verses work? The first person to escape within the time limit went. Oh, snap. That would be dope to do against Trent. Wait, you can do it locally? How do you do local verses? You might have to let me know. All right, I'm a, I don't know. I ain't gonna get everyone all hyped up. I'm gonna do one more. Uh, so we'll do one more video. Let me know what y'all thought of this one. I think I'm interested to record one more. I gotta see, man. I'm gonna do another solo one. So we'll do uh, Center Park. Escape prison alone or with other players. Yeah, yeah. We'll do this one. Hopefully there's no tutorials. I can see what it's like on my own with no, hopefully there's minimal help. And then this could be dope. In a way, this could be dope. Like, trying to see me or Trent escapes first, stuff like that. Yeah. So let me know what y'all think. This is the tutorial. Y'all got the 411 like I did. Some of you guys have watched it on other channels before. This is the some of your guys' first time seeing it. Let me know what you think. I need feedback as always. If y'all like it, y'all already know. I'm going to keep bringing it to you. Y'all are awesome. Till next time, God first, God bless.